Um, and, and this has always affected my analysis of the case. My interviews of so many people, friends of Tiffany, Tiffany's grandmother, who's, such a, who's passed, such a lovely woman, uh, her, the aunts, the uncles, uh, the cousins, um, the uh, coach of volleyball at Stockton University. Everybody said she had a tremendous fear of darkness. Now, and I accept that. Mm -hmm. I accept that. You can't have that many people knowing that and then turn around and say, oh, it didn't exist. In fact, there's an actual psychiatric diagnosis in the DSM called nyctophobia, uh, fear of the dark. Now, here's the problem. Why is that important? Um, if you or anyone uh, goes out there at night and you leave the Valente property, Mannheim, and then you come to Dresseria, there is no artificial illumination whatsoever on Dresseria. It is pitch black. And as you know, because you, you, you've uh, read the reports, there was no moonlight whatsoever that night. In fact, when I have been in my car and I'm on Dresserio driving to Tilton Road, um, I stop my vehicle, I turn the headlights on, you can only go a couple feet right? because you have no idea where you're going. And, and I'll just note for the listeners that at the uh, one of the last episodes in this series will be clips from uh, Paul driving me uh, various ways to the point of impact. Because there, there are different ways to get to the point of impact. And I think that's important to note. Um, we, I wanted to go over what the bloodhound revealed, but, uh, when you took me to the point of impact, I think there's at least three different ways that that's you right. can get there. So, and the reason that that's important to note is because, um, and we'll, we'll get into this in a couple of minutes, but Tiffany's shoes and her headbands, which she was not wearing, when she was killed, were not found in the path of the bloodhound. That's right. That's right. And if, if I may, if any of your listeners go to where the railroad tracks uh, intersect um, with Genoa Avenue, which runs from Wranglebury Road to the White Horse Bike, if, if you stop at those tracks, exit your vehicle at night, and you look down, it would be, I would say, northwest on the tracks. It is absolutely pitch black. You can't see anything. And, and the, the question would be, if one takes a position that she did uh, walk, why would she walk all the way down there? If, 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 if it was her intent to take her own life, why did she have to walk down that area? Right. I don't think it's logical.